Humans are believed to have been walking on Earth for the past 300,000 years. But whatever has been accomplished in the previous couple of hundred years is truly inspiring. With that, today we'll see how humans thought it would be fine to acknowledge monkeys as their forefathers, how the Earth and Sun shifted their places, and how did we actually capture an image sitting 53 million light years away? And that is what we call the greatest scientific discoveries of all time that changed the way we perceive reality forever. A belief prevailed throughout a significant proportion of human history that it is the Earth which is the center of the solar system. And everything else revolves around it until when in the year 1543, a mathematician and astronomer named Nicolaus Copernicus proposed a revolutionary idea where he suggested that it is the Sun which is at the center of the solar system and the planets, including Earth, orbited around it. Although in the third century, a similar heliocentric model was proposed which placed Sun as the center of our planetary system, but it didn't get much attention it deserved and instead of it, the geocentric model was adapted which was the complete opposite of it. Before Newton and his concept of gravity, the prevailing understanding of motion and celestial bodies was based on the ideas of Aristotle and Ptolemy. According to these views, objects had a natural place and motion and was explained in terms of elements seeking their natural place. Isaac Newton in the late 17th century synthesized and expanded upon the work of earlier scientists. Newton's law of universal gravitation states that every center of mass attracts the other bodied mass in the universe. With that being said, it means that you, yes, you yourself are attracted towards everything around you. But since the intensity of your attraction is highly negligible as compared to this giant sphere you live on, this only applies to celestial bodies out there in the universe. While there is a popular story that Newton was inspired by an apple falling from a tree to formulate the law of gravity, there is no evidence that the incident with the apple directly led to his discoveries. The story is often used to illustrate the concept of gravitational attraction. But what is more prominent that led to his work of gravity was a comet, which he observed in the year 1680, followed a highly elliptical orbit around the sun, and led Newton to think there must be something else going on with the gravity. Well, this event is a topic for another video. Let's move to the next one. In the 19th century, a theory surfaced in front of the world that revolutionized our understanding of the diversity of life on Earth. The theory of evolution, developed in the year 1859 primarily by Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace, proposed that species evolve over time through the differential survival and reproduction of individuals with advantageous traits. Well, to make it simpler, the key principles of the theory was that within a certain species of living beings, individuals exhibit variations in traits. And some of these variations are heritable and can be passed on to offsprings, but resources are limited, leading to competition among individuals for survival and the ones with advantageous traits are more likely to survive and reproduce, passing on their traits to the next generation. Over time, this process leads to the accumulation of traits that enhance the fitness of individuals in a particular environment. Moving forward, Albert Einstein in his theory of special relativity proposed a whole new concept of how time actually works universally. His theory branches into two. One, the theory of special relativity, which says that time is relative and can slow down or speed up depending on the relative motion of observers, a famous thought experiment related to time dilation is the twin paradox. Imagine two identical twins, one of whom makes a high-speed space journey while the other stays on Earth. When the traveling twin returns, they will find that less time has passed for them compared to their twin who stayed on Earth. This is due to the time dilation effect associated with their high-speed motion. The other branch of it is the theory of general relativity. It extends the principles of special relativity to include gravity. It says that the fabric of the universe is made up of space and time, and that massive objects like stars and planets cause space-time to curve around them. Moreover, Clocks in stronger gravitational fields tick more slowly than those in weaker fields. 
This effect has been experimentally confirmed and is observed in satellite-based navigation systems. General Relativity made several predictions, including the bending of light around massive objects, also known as gravitational lensing and the existence of black holes. Many of these predictions have been confirmed through observations and experiments. In the early 20th century, Alfred Wiesener, a German meteorologist and geophysicist, proposed the theory of continental drift. He suggested that continents were once part of a larger supercontinent called Pangaea and had drifted apart over time. Wiesener noticed that the coastlines of South America and Africa appeared to fit together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Similar fossils were found on continents that are now separated by oceans, suggesting they were once connected and had common life at some point in time. Wiegener faced skepticism from the scientific community, as he lacked a plausible mechanism to explain how continents could drift. But in the 1960s, scientists such as Harry Hess and Robert Dietz proposed the theory of seafloor spreading. They suggested that new oceanic crust was forming along mid-ocean ridges, causing the ocean floor to move away from these ridges. The combination of Wiegener's continental drift, the idea of seafloor spreading, and additional evidence from earthquake patterns and magnetic anomalies led to the development of the theory of plate tectonics. Next, the Human Genome Project. It was a large-scale scientific endeavor initiated in 1990 as an international collaborative effort involving scientists from various countries aimed at mapping and sequencing the entire human genome, which is the complete set of DNA in a human organism. The primary goal of the project was to map and sequence the entire human genome, identifying and determining the order of the approximately 3 billion base pairs that make up human DNA. It also significantly advanced our understanding of human biology by providing a comprehensive reference for the structure and function of human genes. The project has had numerous medical and scientific applications, contributing to the identification of genes associated with various diseases, genetic disorders, and predispositions to certain conditions. The first draft of the human genome was announced in 2000, and the project was declared officially completed in 2003. Lastly, the picture of a black hole. Yes, literally we took an actual image of a black hole, located 55 million light years away from Earth in the heart of the Messier 87 galaxy. It is categorized as a supermassive black hole containing a mass of about 6.5 billion times that of our sun. Wait, how do we capture its image when a black hole is itself a point of pitch black darkness? Well, Initial observations were made in April of 2017 during a week-long period when various telescopes around the world were pointed at the target. The collected data included radio waves emitted by the hot gas and plasma near the black hole. The black hole's event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape the gravitational pull, was a key focus. The dark region in the center of the image represents the shadow cast by the event horizon. The raw data collected from different telescopes all over the world were combined and processed using advanced algorithms to create a coherent image. The historic image of the black hole was officially released on April 10, 2019. It was presented in multiple press conferences around the world, capturing widespread public and scientific interest. The image provided strong evidence supporting Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, particularly regarding the nature of black holes and the behavior of light near extreme gravitational fields. And there you have it, folks, a whirlwind tour through some of the greatest scientific discoveries of all time. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-expanding content, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay curious.